I like music. Um, that's the reason why I'm involved with Destination because my, I have a regular daytime job. I'm actually a tax partner with PricewaterhouseCoopers. I'm a CPA. My name is Edmund. Um, I'm actually um, born in Hong Kong. I've been living in Beijing for about 18 years. My friends and I and my boyfriend, we opened Destination about eight years ago. A few years ago, it's still difficult for um, people to travel abroad, um, going to those large parties. So we invite a lot of the um, well-known DJs in the um, gay community. DJ Paolo, Hector Francesca, Rafi Rosario, uh, Tony Moran, um, Tracy Young, they have all played at Destination. Our operation covers the whole building. Uh, on the third floor, we have art exhibition. Uh, the one you just saw is the third one that uh, we have done. On the uh, top floor, I want to create kind of like a LGBT cultural center in Beijing, similar to uh, what people have in Castro, San Francisco or in New York. We have a room upstairs that we provide free uh, HIV testing. AIDS is not um, really a taboo topic in China, as some people may think it is. I think the government actually is doing um, something, um, helping to prevent, you know, through education, helping hopefully people will be, um, will, will protect themselves better. And the ACE um, testing center, actually we're doing that in um, conjunction with the local government. I think the uh, society in general, at least in Beijing, um, people are more um, receptive to LGBT. And actually I don't find um, being um, a gay person being discriminated in any way. You probably find that Beijing, Shanghai are more open to gay, LGBT than what I, um, someone from the US, Canada would anticipate. I, I don't think um, we will have a gay pride or something like that in Beijing, or, or at least not in the uh, near future. A parade of any sort probably can't happen. It's not because the government is against or has anything uh, to, against the LGBT society. It's just that it's the, um, the macro environment is just not fit for having a gay, something like a gay pride in, in China. Yeah. I, I don't think same-sex marriage um, will be possible in the uh, foreseeable future. We're not quite ready for that yet. Yeah. I'm hoping that, you know, uh, through what we do, people can see that LGBT is more than just about clubbing, about one night stand, you know, sex, all, all that. Um, you know, LGBT also, you know, has the other side, you know, we have great artists, you know, um, so hopefully we can be a platform for the um, connecting the LGBT and the others. <laughs>